hello and welcome, Reno Gaming here and today I want to just quickly show you a quick guide on how to install Fake Grand Order English on a PC emulator called Mimu. Now the reason you might want to do it on an emulator rather than actually on the device is Fake Grand Order doesn't support root, it doesn't support custom canals and it doesn't support custom ROMs. So if you've modified your phone pretty much in any way, this isn't going to work on your phone at least. So that's why I'm going to show you how to do it on PC. Now first things first, I didn't write this guide, someone else did, I'm just making a video of it because the only other video I found was in some language I can understand. So first thing you're going to want to do is you want to go want to go to mimuplay.com and download the emulator. Which is pretty simple, I've already done that so I'm going to cancel the download. You also want to go this address here, which is quite long, blog index with fan 17, blah 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 blah. I'm gonna put that in the description below. What you're gonna to want to do here is download the Mimu Lollipop RC5. You're gonna also want to go onto this Megas link and download this fgov2.ra. This is actually an unrooted version of the Mimu software. So you'll be able to play Fate on that. And lastly, but not least, you're going to want to go onto AK APK Pure or whatever AKP site you prefer, maybe Kuat, maybe APK Mirror or whatever, and download the fake Grand Order APK. Now, why's my downloads folder? Because I've already downloaded all of them for you to save a bit of time here. It's on my other screen, good job. Bring it over here. As you can see, I've got all the stuff already here, so, you didn't see this. First up, install Mimu. You're going to need admin privileges, you're going to want to be on a 64-bit operating system, and you are also going to want to have virtualization turned on in your BIOS. Now, to do that is pretty simple, you've just got to go into your BIOS normally, when you start on your computer, you spam delete or it's one of the F buttons and you get into the BIOS. Somewhere in there it will tell you to turn on virtualization or how to turn on virtualization. So that's what you're gonna to want to do there. Just waiting for this to install, it won't be long. Once this is installed, we're then going to install the 5.1 installation package that will then allow us to run a 5.1 version because at the start it's on like 4 point something it's a bit old now, not many games support 4 point whatever come on, not 3% you can do it ok don't launch the emulator for the moment just close it off run uh, Mimu Lollipop that should just unzip and install it by itself Resolving file, whatever the fuck that means. Update successfully. Now, this multiple instance manager should come up. When you're on here, what you're going to want to do is make sure it says Android 5.1 there. Just, that's just to confirm that that update we just done has started. Now, you see the fgov2 we downloaded earlier from Mega? Extract those files into a folder. It can be anywhere. I've put mine in my downloads just for simplicity. And then import it in here. So go to your downloads, go to whatever folder it was, and it will be the fgov2.ova. When that's imported, we will load it up, quickly mess around with the settings, and then import the English fate. Because right now, you've got the Japanese version there. So you might want to delete the Japanese version unless you plan on playing that. Stop you getting confused. I'm not going to do a re-roll guide because it's pretty simple. You could just delete this, restart it, download and re-roll that way. So now let's start it. This will be starting up the emulator here. Nice and snazzy edit the settings make it bigger or whatever I'm just gonna quickly show you a few settings to edit edit the RAM 
that sort of stuff. Just find out the exact amount because I suck at math. Where is it? It is. I'm going to put in 4,096 megabytes of RAM. I have 16 gigs of RAM. I don't need to use more than four. Four is kind of overkill anyway. So what you're going to do next is go to the settings. That's this icon here. And you can see it's got two CPUs. I'm on AMD, so I can't go above two. So keep that where it is. Put the RAM. I'm on using four gigs. If you only have four gigs, you use two. If you have eight, you can use four. I mean, if you've got 16, technically you can use eight, but eight is completely overkill. You can go like a 1080p resolution, but honestly, most games play at 720p, even on 1080p phones. So I'm just going to keep that there. I'm going to keep OpenGL. On advance, I'm keeping this all the same. I'm going to turn root mode off for the moment. I'm only turning it off just in case. I think it works with root anyway. Now click save. We start it. And now we're going to input, import, sorry, the APK from our documents onto this. And then run it. And boom, it works. Perfect. Hopefully. It did last time. Obviously, I'll leave a link to the original guide on Reddit in the description. I will leave a link to the rest of the stuff in the description. So now to import an APK, just go to the little APK icon on the side, install APK. Find the APK, mine will be in downloads, fake grand order English. This one here is a Japanese one. Ignore that, wait for it to install. There we go. As you can see, technically a difference. One's an underscore, one's a slash. Launch this, and it should launch. It was playing perfectly earlier. 30 FPS is the cap on it. So now it's connecting, it will download. I'll quickly let it download. I'll cut the video so you guys don't have to watch it download. And you can hear the music. Great. And here we go. I've been playing this account a little bit, so it's already all started up, and God knows what. I will quickly do a battle so you can see that it does work good enough. Let's go on to this one. I've done this one. Choose a servant. As you can see, it all runs smoothly. It's fast. Works pretty well. You can also use this to run other games. I mean, I've got Lineage Eternal running on here. I'll quickly show you that afterwards as well. This is all easy peasy. Oh, battle speed. Wait, I should have got it faster. Battle 2. And there you have it. Fake Grand Order working. This is on like 1080p. I put it up just so it covered the screen and God knows what. Um, do not request. Let's just close that down. And launch lineage to show you other games working on it as well. This does work pretty well. I mean, to be fair, lineage is an MMO, and though it's on Unreal, I do think it's quite a bit unoptimized, so it kind of runs like shit. It runs like shit on a mobile, though, as well, so. I have got all the settings on high, I could turn them down a little bit. That would probably help. Checking if files are patched, blah blah blah. There you have it, this is working as well. Wham, bam, thank you ma'am. Though the effects, oh there's the effect, cool. It does actually look better in the game, there's some effects that aren't showing up on my character, like shadows and that. 
I may have turned them off in the settings when I was messing them around, I don't know. There you have it, see? Let's just go into a few menus, show you it's working. Let's see if I can go to a Battlefield Jewel Arena. Um, what's my... Oh, I've got loads. Let's try that one. Oh, she's got cool armour. My armour's shitty. Like, totally shitty. I don't know why. My armour's like S rank and there's only one rank better. So don't worry about it. I'll beat her anyway. I think. Holy shit. Oh, I thought I was going to lose for a bit there. There you have it. Working, working, working. It's, it's, emulator runs a lot better than Nox. I was trying Nox and I was getting some bad results. So I hope this helped. Like, subscribe and comment below. If you need any more help, then obviously just comment and I'll try and do my best to help you. If you get any errors or anything like that. As I said, the Reddit thread will be in the description and so will all the links.